Hey everyone, this is Ken and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on a redesigned slime block grinding system. Now based on the new update guys, we did get a TU31 update, slime blocks can now swim. <laughs> Which actually broke the system because the system is pretty much based on a drowning technique. Now, it's not a bad thing, but I did have to make a few modifications. And in all honesty, guys, it actually makes the whole grinding system a lot smaller, which is great because you don't have to use that much materials. So these are the basic materials you're going to need. You will need a block of your choice, some stairs, sand, cactus, a few hoppers, glass blocks, four buckets of water, and some form of lighting. Fantastic guys, now let's, let's jump right into it. Now if you have this system ready, all you have to do guys is get rid of this lava. Now we're not going to use it because it's pretty much obsolete. We're not going to need it for this new system. <clears throat> Which is great. Now we're going to delete these glass panels right in front of us. And you got to get rid of that water. So what you need to do right now is either go in the back, use a bucket of, use an empty bucket. Or just place some blocks right across and you got to get rid of that water. Fantastic. Now once you've done that, we're going to get this extra row right in front of us. And delete those four blocks as well. Fantastic. Alright, so it's going good at this point. Now you should have this kind of look right now. That's great. Fantastic. Now, once you've done that, you're going to go right to the back over here. And you can choose whatever point you want to choose at. But you're going to delete this whole side end right here. It's pretty much like cutting right into a cake. All right. Awesome. All right. Now, once you've done that, you're going to delete this entire front section. All right. We're going to make this as smooth as ice. I'm going to show you why. So right now, pause the video and get rid of all this front end right there. Just make this as smooth as an empty room. Fantastic. All right, perfect. Now, once you've done that, it should look just like this, okay? Now, starting from this block right here, you want to go about seven blocks forward, okay? So it should add to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks right across. And over here in the second part, you're going to add eight blocks. So pretty much eight blocks, two eight block rows in the middle, and a one seven block row on each side. Okay? And trust me, guys, it's going to make a ton of sense in a few seconds. Now, once you've done that, you're going to delete that block. Well, you're going to delete these hoppers. Pull that block right there and we're gonna jump right into these hopper lines all right now I did make a copy of my survival series world okay and I'm gonna delete this all out because I want to show you the hopper line that I have this goes pretty much straight into the storage system now, you're gonna want to delete all that for the simple fact that you don't want any of the items falling in there going to your storage system and in all honesty with this system you're gonna use a lot less hoppers which to me is a plus, you know what I mean? Now over here you're going to add three blocks from the bedrock. You're going to delete that. Add three more blocks. And you're going to add some sand on each corner. Now once again guys, I apologize for the back noise if you hear any. Now at this point add some cactus just like so. And you will need a total of six cactus to really make this work the way it looks. Pretty much three on each side. Now at this point you're going to add a hopper line straight across connecting to the previous one. And you're going to add some hoppers going upwards parallel to the sand. Then add a hopper line going straight into that one right there in the corner and two more on the side. Fantastic guys. And the cool thing is you're going to add two blocks right there and you're going to make sure you do not add any blocks in front of that cactus because you know it's going to break. You don't want that. So add a stair there and you're going to add a stair right there at an angle to create that kind of effect. Then two blocks of glass. 
and of course two solid blocks of your choice right on top then you're gonna add a stair right there and one more time right at an angle see fantastic then you're gonna add two more blocks over here creating the same exact pattern Then you're gonna add your stairs to really add that trimming and detail to the entire system. Fantastic guys. Now at this point, if you want to, I personally love to add some glowstone. That's my thing, that's my, that's my addiction right there. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. And some on top so that when you place the glass, it really gives some really cool effect to it. Now before you even do that, Let's add our four buckets of water right across. And you're going to notice it's going to go right exactly on top of the hoppers. Then add your glass blocks right there. Now at this point, guys, you want to cover that gap up. So place some blocks of your choice right across. And what I want you to do, guys, is pretty much hook up the entire room to your likings. You see? Perfect. So you should have this kind of look, guys. And with this new system, you're going to notice it is highly efficient. Now, we're going to go over here to our actual slime block platforms. And I'm just going to add a ton of different slime blocks and just spawn them all over the place. So we went to the top floor, to the middle floor, and we're going to do it to the bottom floor as well. And I'm going to show you firsthand how this works. Now, I, I kind of went extreme here, but the whole point I went extreme is to make a point. Even as extreme aspect of it, the water does push the slime blocks forward. Even though they fight at it, they eventually go down to where these cactus are at. Now the great thing is, for the simple fact that they tend to hop all over the place, they end up always hitting those cactuses. Which is phenomenal, it's something we want. We want them to hit the cactus. Now I don't know if one of you guys are probably going to leave a comment saying that, you know, the cactus is going to destroy it, but check it out guys. You're going to notice right away, you're going to be getting tons of items because the hoppers are actually going to suck it up. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. You will lose probably a little bit of slime blocks because the cactus tends to destroy it if, it if the slime block actually shoots forward towards the cactus. But in all honesty, guys, you're not going to even see the difference because this is a fully AFK system. Now, we'll do a little time lapse to show you what all these slime blocks are doing. And you can see right away they're all dying. I mean, it's perfect. There's a great grinding system. It doesn't require a lot. And as you can see, even when they fall in the middle, they don't stay there. They tend to hop to the left or the right. And they always end up hitting that cactus, is what, is, which is what you want. Now, check it out. We're going to look down here. And I already got 35 based on that little group that we just spawned. And there it is, guys. That's the newly redesigned system. And if you can, remember to please leave a comment and subscribe thank you guys